what's up so today i have something that was requested i guess you can say it was requested i went to social media and i asked you what you wanted to see and stuff like that um and if you had any ideas that you wanted me to bring to life um and a few people actually agreed um and kind of were like yeah do that yeah do that so i thought why not do it so i'm gonna be doing a like three first impressions because one of them is something that I already use but I'm going to be doing the Kylie lip kits now I know that this is not something that is new to people I get it I get it whatever but um, there are some people out there that still haven't tried them that are wanting someone who they know and who they trust to tell them if it's good or not um, so yeah so I have two lip kits and then I have just two um, glossy shades one is a metal shade and the other one is a gloss um and those did not come with lip liners but then the other two one is a matte and the other is a velvet ellipse lipstick and they did come with the lip liners because they were a part of the lip kits so the first one that i have is the velvet and it is in the shade poison berry and so this is the poison berry Um, and now that, I mean, once I got them, I kind of realized that they were kind of the same shade. So this is the matte, and then this is the velvet. And um, when I swatched them on my skin, I swatched them on Snapchat. So if you don't have me on Snapchat, I'll put the link right here. Go check it out. Um, but anyways, so um, I was putting it on my skin, and I realized that the velvet one was so soft and smooth and dried pretty nice. And um, as this the matte was drying, it was very tacky and like sticky and stuff like that. And I hadn't really noticed that before because normally when I just put it on my lips, it dries pretty quickly. But being on my arm and not moving and not talking and, you know, I do this like... Like, I breathe in when I put it on, so it, like, dries it a little bit better. I don't know. It's just something weird that I'm trying to strip. It's just a little something weird that I do. Um, but it seems to work for me, so I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, I guess I can... Oh, okay. So, you see my highlight? Yeah. So, that highlight is the French Vanilla highlight. I got that with this stuff, too, because I did the BOGO. So, it was the buy one, get one free. Now, I already had one of the glosses because I did get one of the Coco collections and so I already had one of the glosses so I didn't have to buy that but when I got the two lip kits it came with you know buy one get one free so I got one lip kit and um this metal and then another lip kit and then the highlight and this is in the shade French vanilla I'm hoping that the camera picks it up because it's pretty great now I am a snob when it comes to highlights like I am super like I like certain highlights and I was very skeptical on getting this but you know it exceeded my expectations because I didn't think much of it but with that being said let's jump into the video so um okay so I'm gonna be playing with my hair a lot because it's just washed and nothing is done to it um just brushed and it's like gonna irritate me so don't mind me plus it's my fidget it's like fidget spinner but for my hair like I'm a fidget, fidget, but not with a fidget spinner. Oh well. Okay. So first, I'm going to be putting on lip liner, and then I'm going to be putting on the lipstick. Now I'm going to do them off camera only because I don't want my mirror to be right here in your guys's face, like this. So that was just rolled off. So bear with me. Um, I'll do the lip liner first, then show you what, the, 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 what that looks like, and then I'll come back and do the lipstick and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so this is what the lip liner looks, and this is the shade Poison Berry, which goes with the velvet gloss. Now, I'm pretty sure I can do the gloss off. I don't think I have to be super precision, all I do is kill it inside the lines. And like always, you smell like vanilla. Actually, that one smells a little different, but it does smell like vanilla still, so. The velvet is going on so smooth, like, it's like creamy. So, this is 
the velvet one and I think that it sorry I have hair on me I think that it's super soft um, I'm not uh, I'm not sure how it will dry um, I feel like maybe you know give it some time and wait for it to dry before you drink something because I feel like the moment I put something up to my lips it's going to smear off onto you um, but this is in the shade poison berry and it's nice I feel like this is a really pretty fall color um, and this one is the lighter shade of the two that are pretty similar the matte and the velvet as you can see this is the more lighter shade and this is a more darker shade they're both like a plummy shade but I feel like one's more of a deeper maroon this one's a lighter maroon so I'm hope I'm hoping that the transition will be different that's why I'm going to put <laughs> this metal in between so that we know which one's different um, but yeah, so I'm going to take this off and then I will be putting on uh, the King K metal for you guys. So oh, as you can as you guys can see, um, the color is actually like stained on my lips. Like I literally have no product on my lips whatsoever. It's kind of just stained there. Um Okay, so um, next I'm going to go in with the King K, and this is the metal, um, and this is one of the ones that was asked to do. So they said they want a matte, a metal, a gloss, and a velvet. Um, I was going to get that super purpley, like, June, June bug, I think that's what it's called, one, but I decided not to because I'm like, hmm. Maybe if I'm going to be spending this much money, I'm going to be wanting to spend it on products I'm actually going to be wearing. And with this, this is more of like a copper tone, so I'm hoping that it goes good over top of this um, pink that's now the color of my lips. <laughs> Because, like, the product's just getting moved around. Like, it's not really sticking, like, to a spot. It's just kind of, like, moving in which direction it wants to go. But, um, I mean, it's not bad. You can see, like, how it's, like, kind of patchy. It's actually a lot patchy. Um, and I didn't think it was going to be like that, which is kind of weird. So I'm just going to take it off and then I'm going to be applying another one. So I'm thinking that I should have done the velvet one last because it has like stained the skin around my lips too because I overlined my lips just a tad and it's like staining it. So <laughs> I mean, don't mind my red lips guys. Okay. So we have the matte and this is another new one that I haven't tried yet and it is in the shade Love Bite. So I'm going to be doing what I did before and applying the lip liner off camera and then applying this on camera. Okay, so this is the Love Bite which goes with the matte and like I said, these two colors are pretty identical. Pretty freaking identical. Anyways, um, okay, so just making sure I have the right thing. Now I'm going to go in with the matte lipstick. And again, vanilla. So I feel like with this one um, and the other ones, they're really good fall colors. I don't know why I keep snapping. You guys keep hearing me snap? I feel like I'm snapping a lot. Um, they're really good fall colors, um, so I'll give them that. Um, but the two colors are so identical. I can't really like 
the only thing that will put them apart is the way that they fill my lips. Now this is already dry. The matte is already completely dry, so I don't have to worry about sticking to anything. Um, but as far as that, like, there's really not much of a difference. They like to be called two different things, but they're pretty similar. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up the difference, but for me, uh, it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling. If I would want, you know, something that's more like that just goes on or something that, you know, can be worn all day. Um, I don't know. I really just am in a pickle right now. Pickles sound good. I mean, it kind of just depends on how you're feeling. The velvet did feel amazing. Um, the matte is just always something that I always wear. So maybe I'll, I'll change it up and see how it lasts during the day. Um, because I actually haven't worn a velvet all day or, you know, long wear. So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to be putting on the last lipstick that we have from the Coco collection. So this isn't something that I just bought with all of these. This is one that I've had and the Coco collection is honestly my favorite collection. Um, one being she's my favorite Kardashian, uh, Khloe Kardashian. And um, two, because I just feel like these play more, the colors play more to like my my style and what I look for and stuff like that um, except for this um, gloss I'm not really a big gloss person but I like to put it on top like in the center and then kind of just like ombre it out a little bit and give you know matte colors a little a little oomph so I'm just going to apply this and I hope that it applies nicely along this because my lips are stained for that damn velvet lipstick So there's two different brushes. Um, this gloss brush is more like an actual like painting brush. Yeah, see, I'm just not a gloss person. I'm just not a gloss person. I don't really like shiny lips. But this is this color. Um, I don't feel like the color that's underneath is doing this justice so I am going to swatch it right here see how it's like this shimmery rose gold color and the King K is more like a copper color um for me I just don't really like glosses very much but the pink color underneath isn't really doing it justice because it's not really letting it play out to its full potential I mean you can put these over any color and it will just like oomph it up um, but I don't know. I just don't really like the glossy like finish. I don't know. Maybe it's just something that will grow on me over time or something like that. But, um, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you want to follow any of my social media, it will be down below. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'll be posting a video every Tuesday and a bonus video on the weekends.